everyone, Monroe Steel here of Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel and another very fun Miami vlog. Make sure to give your girl a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel videos and all of those things are in today's video so I think you're gonna like it. Don't forget to thumbs up. Uh, okay, you guys, so I know we're in a different surrounding. We're actually here at the Cadillac Hotel on South Beach. We are here with Lacoste and Marshawn Eyewear. I'm very, very excited to be working with them for the Miami Tennis Open, which is incredible. Uh, the Miami Open is always a super fun time in Miami. It's a very big deal. In the previous vlog, I went to an event with LVMH Tag Hoyer Watches and their brand ambassador, Naomi Osaka, who is an incredible, one of the best tennis players in the world. And it was just amazing. So this vlog is gonna be all about tennis, fashion, fun, and ocean views, because that's where I am. So I'm working with Lacoste and Marshawn Eyewear. They put me up in the Cadillac Hotel, which is fitting, because they actually sent a Cadillac to pick your girl up and bring me here it was a very luxurious ride um a beautiful escalade you guys know i've actually worked with cadillac quite a few and they are one of the sponsors for the miami open so it's very fitting that they put me in the cadillac hotel i've never stayed here so i'm going to quickly give you guys a room tour this is their uh their double queen um oceanfront room um, and then we're gonna get ready to head to dinner and a little kickoff party at the Soho, um, at Soho House. So let's get into this room tour. As you all can see this room is massive and it's actually pretty affordable to be right on Collins and it's kind of still right by all of the action like Soho House I can walk to in like two minutes <laughs> so it's a really great location um, I know a lot of you have been asking for more affordable options in Miami and I would definitely suggest Kipton um, as well as Cadillac uh, because it's massive and the bathroom is huge. Um, you can definitely fit like four people in here. And you all saw how gorgeous <laughs> this oceanfront view is. I mean, it's stunning today. It's gorgeous. I love it here. Uh, so let's get a little bit into my look. I am wearing my ideal uh, ear cuff in diamonds. Love these. And then I'm wearing my ideal diamonds with the add-on, the Uma add-on. Um, I did my hair. I did, I did a little twist out with the pattern gel. Um, I'll be sure to link that gel down below. Um, and I have on a two-piece set from Revolve that you would have seen in the previous vlog. I'll maybe pop some of that footage up so you could see the whole look. But it's a top and a maxi skirt with a slit in the back. And then I have on my Chanel flats. Let me show you. 
hopefully you can see me um but this is the look i'm wearing a medium i definitely could have sized down and gotten a small because this is quite big um but yeah you can probably size down if you want it to be a little tighter but the medium works well but i could have definitely gotten a small as well this also comes in black and i'll link it down below and then we have my chanel dad sandals here so while i was doing the room tour i got a package in from lacoste i'm so excited so these are all of the things that i'm going to be wearing during the trip uh we have a launch party tonight at soho house we have um an activation where we actually do a tennis uh course and i have an outfit for that and then we are going to the stadium to a suite to also watch some matches and we have an outfit for that so let's quickly do an unboxing and then we're going to go ahead and get ready for this evening's event which is a little cocktail and then we're going to soho house for the opening party i'm not sure i'll be able to film at soho house because y'all know they have a no film policy um but i'll try and definitely get some clips from my phone but like oh really i just want to go outside i just want to be out there where the people are on the beach but your girl gotta do some work and i'm happy to do it but oh, i'm so excited all right i have to do some stories and then we'll get into these bags we'll pick out what we're gonna wear tonight and then we'll get the day started all right guys so it's time to get into the unboxing there should be three outfits in here one for tonight for the launch party one for tomorrow for the performance lab and then one for the miami open in the suite so let's take everything out and choose what we're going to wear tonight all right guys so let's get into it first we have a top this is, oh, the quality. Oh, gotta love that little alligator. Um, so this is the oversized fit top in white. It's kind of thick, yet I feel like it would soak up sweat. It's super preppy and cute. This might be good for the Miami Open because I'm not gonna be like active, but I still wanna be like preppy and fun i wish you guys could see the material it's almost like a waffle knit it's super lightweight like on the inside i feel like it would collect sweat it's almost like a fleece on the inside feels really nice i'll be sure to link all of these things down below so you guys can check them out uh yeah so that's the first piece i love how the buttons on the front are covered cool so that's the first top and then we have a cardigan this cardigan is so cute so we have a little blue cardigan like a navy blue cardigan this is so nice this might i might maybe we'll do this tonight because i feel like it's gonna get chilly tonight we're kind of close to the water you can see the material there shape a more elegant world for the planet durable elegance Ooh, i love this i got a size six in this so that's the next top then we have another top one of these i'm not going to be able to play tennis in maybe i hope they gave me some other options so we have the cream version of the blue cardigan Ooh, i'm just now noticing how cute is this it has a little green piping you guys know my favorite color is green and if you didn't know now you know that's very cute as well and oh i think this is my performance outfit oh they gave me two. Oh, maybe they gave me two because i need to wear one for each day okay so i have this little skirt how cute is this so it's a little mini skirt in cream. It's pleated and it has the little alligator there. This is also a size six and it's a skirt. There are, oh no, there we go. It's a skirt. There are shorts underneath. So it doesn't matter if it's like a little on the shorter side. 
So they sent me two of these in the same size. So I'm guessing one is for each day because I feel like they ran out of colors for the other one. So I'll probably wear one of these tonight and one tomorrow for the suite. Okay. They also gave me this cute little hat, but why does it say L? I guess it's for Lacoste, but it's like, I'm taking an L. <laughs> Super cute. Um, I think tomorrow for the performance lab, I'm gonna bring my hair low and do a slick low bun. So you know, I look cute when I'm playing my tennis. And so I can wear a hat. Very cute. Okay, now for the performance lab tomorrow, I, th I think it's just a tennis lesson. Then they're calling it a performance lab. They sent a specific outfit cause you girl gonna be out there hitting the balls. They're going to they're gonna provide me with a racket as well. But how cute is this little hat? Little visor. So this is why probably tonight I'm going to put my hair in a slick low bun. So I'm going to be on my, I'm going to be on my Venus and my Serena and my Naomi. So we have that. We also have Lacoste socks. Can you see those? Super cute. And we have these little tiny shorts in blue. Well, they're not that tiny. Like, they gonna fit me. They got a lot of stretch. And then we have, how cute is this? Oh, it's like a one piece with a little skirt. This is very, very cute. This is my size too. So the thing is, this doesn't have shorts. So underneath, I'm gonna wear this. This is gonna be so cute, you guys. It's gonna be so cute. Okay, I'll be linking all these things, by the way. Um, and then I have a pair of sneakers to wear with that look. And it's these blue, they are so cool. They're LSR foam sneakers from Lacoste. And they are fire really Ooh, i can't wait to go for a hot girl run in these or a, a bike i love this part how cool and it of course will match my look i went for a blue thing so that's what i'll be wearing tomorrow so cute and then i think we have one more pair of sneakers I mean, they really, they really laced your girl. <laughs> These are massive. Like, why do they look so big? <laughs> My feet are not this huge. But look at these. I thought these were so fun. These are from the court to the street since 1933 Lacoste sneakers. And I just love how extra they are. Like, they have so much going on. They're pretty lightweight though. And so these will go with my look for tonight and then for the suite. I mean, I know it's a party, but they want us to wear full head to toe Lacoste because it's the opening season party. So I will be wearing sneakers to the party. And this looks well with either one of the cardigans as well. So that's what we have. I'm gonna show you all the uh, Marchand sunglasses as well. And then we're gonna get dressed really quickly. I'm gonna figure it out. And then we're gonna head down because I only have 15 minutes before I have to meet the team downstairs uh, in the lobby of the Cadillac Hotel. I found a Lacoste headband <laughs> in the bag. This will be great for tomorrow for uh, the performance lab. But let's get into the Marchand eyewear which I will be making like some content for over on my stories. Um, yeah, amazing. So it's their collab with Lacoste. So we'll start with the first pair. Ooh, these are cute. These are like a gray, uh, almost like an aviator. Well, not really an aviator, like a, like a Ray-Ban almost. And I love gray, like gray is quickly becoming one of my favorite colors of all time. But how cool are these? I might wear these tonight, like down to dinner with my outfit. Super cute. You can see the details. You can see the little cost there. Hopefully you can see it. 
and on the side very cool so that is the first pair of course it comes in a really cool case like so you just open it up Oop, and it was right inside of there so that's the first pair the second pair these are probably my favorite <laughs> these are almost like clear y'all know how i feel about a clear sunglasses or they're almost giving like beige and when you look through it's more of a green tint which is super fun again i will link all of these for you these are so cute maybe i wear these tonight because i'm wearing a lot of cream so these will probably go better fire last but not least i think these oh i like these too these are more of like a fashion sunglass with the shape because it's a little more yeah these are fire i like these and these are more like a brown with a brown lens like a brown pinky lens and you can see here all the details so those are the three pair of sunglasses that i have throughout the trip that i will kind of be promoting and now i have 15 minutes to get myself together and get out of here so let's pick an outfit i'll show you it and we will head down for dinner all right guys so here's my look for tonight i went with the white cardigan because i feel like when we watch the match i feel like the blue one will be better and then I have on the skirt. Let me lower you so you guys can see me. All right, and then I have on this cute little skirt. How fun is this? And then I have on these sneakers, which I just realized are like a size and a half too big. Hopefully they can replace them, but they're still so cute. Ugh, they're very, very comfy too. Um, and I think for the sunglasses, we're going to go with the clear ones because I feel like I'm doing an all cream look. So why not go with these? Very, very cute. All right, I'm gonna grab my Chanel bag because I think they were supposed to give you a bag, but it didn't come. And we are going to head out for a light bites and drinks downstairs. And then we'll head to the opening party. Let's go. guys so back from meeting the team and the Marchand team what they do is they make sunglasses for several brands so they actually make the sunglasses for Lacoste um, but it's all Lacoste eyewear uh, so yeah it was cool to meet all of the influencers and the team from Marchand and also from Lacoste and now we are about to head to the opening party at Soho House which I'm very excited about but I wanted to come up to the room, refresh my makeup, and grab some gum because we've been eating and drinking. And I want to make sure that my breath is fresh. Uh, so let me grab that. I'm going to top off my makeup a bit. And then we are going to head to the party. The light, this yellow light in here, it's, it's not working for me. I think I'm gonna change into a red lip because I think that's gonna photograph better for the party with my Lacoste sunglasses. So I'm gonna use a little bit of the Fenty HBIC that I think is in my purse. All right, so I'm just gonna freshen up my makeup a bit with a little bit of powder. I have the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder in Medium Deep as well as just the 
plain translucent powder. I don't think I need anything with color. So we're gonna go with the translucent powder. I'm just gonna put a little bit on my brush and go into my T-zone. I think as soon as we get there, we're doing photos and they want us to do the photos with eyewear. So not too worried about like the eyes much. I have my Makeup Forever blush. I've been loving this blush. This is the Artist Blush in Limitless Berry B2, B260. I'm gonna go in with my Pro Blush 99 from Sephora. This is like one of the best brushes I've ever used. It just gets the blush right where it needs to be. So a lot of the people are international. There's some people here like content creators from Milan, from Paris, from Canada. And so I'm re I feel really like blessed that I was invited. And I'm already here. Not a lot of content creators that are actually from or living in Miami were invited. So we're going in with the Fenty HBIC for the party. And we're just gonna walk over. They gave us a Uber code, which I am gonna use. Hopefully it doesn't expire. But uh, the Soho house is literally not even a five minute walk like it's it's like next door to where we're staying um and i just think they didn't know that so they gave everybody a code to use to get there and back but we're just gonna walk over and there's gonna be a step and repeat and uh, i just want to make sure i look nice for it I'm actually really excited for the performance lab tomorrow because we're going to be playing tennis and we're getting a lesson by, I think they're called the, the Miami Twins and uh, I've never actually played tennis ever in my life. <laughs> I used to date a tennis player, which is hilarious. And I would go to his matches and I would never know what was like actually happening, but he was really good. This was when I was in high school. Um, I probably should have learned the game more, but I mean, he just always won. So <laughs> that's all I need to know. Um, so it should be fun. Maybe it'll be a new hobby for me. We'll see if I'm any good at it. But I definitely like to challenge myself when it comes to sports. I ran track in high school. I ran the 4x1 and the 4x2 last leg. I was also in the varsity cheerleading squad. I was captain of the step team. And the funny thing about me being um, on the cheerleading squad is I didn't cheer my freshman or sophomore year. <laughs> I just came in my junior year like, I'm going to cheer this year, tried out, made the team. Um, the team was always a set number of people, so they ended up cutting people who had already been cheering from freshman and junior year to accommodate me on the team because I was better. So that just goes to show anything you put your mind to, you can do. Even if there's people that's already been doing it for years before you, you can still hop on in there and claim your spot. Now, the only thing about coming in junior year is that I literally had to learn like 150 cheers in like a month <laughs> but i did that and my daddy helped me with my jumps too we would practice out in the backyard okay i got myself together i'll show you the updated makeup look in the mirror we're going to take my sunglasses because they want me to use them for my photo and the red really does pop everything is linked down below let's go all right guys i just wanted to come into the light and show you these beautiful sunglasses that i linked down below and the lip the lip really made the look i mean this we're going to a party now normally i wouldn't wear this type of look 
to a party but it's a tennis party so it works but that's the vibes let's go join the crew and walk over to the lacoste miami open party there's going to be some major tennis players there too hopefully i know who they are so i can show them to you all right guys let's go left the party Rhea has joined me Rhea Michelle follow her on Instagram and all the other places hey y'all and we're gonna try and make it to this Carbon Cadillac dinner although we're an hour and a half late that's usually around Miami time though yep. anyway and it doesn't end till 10 so I feel like we have time so I'm back in this two-piece set from Revolve I'll link it and we're gonna go back to the hotel <laughs> i actually managed to go to two parties one for the launch of lacoste at soho house i ran into my girl ria there um she's a soho house member so she she just came over and it was really nice i grabbed some really amazing content met some really cool people um got all my work done and then i dipped out and headed to the cadillac <laughs> party um cadillac actually invited me because i work with them quite a bit um, and I believe they are a sponsor for the Miami Open. Um, so they had a party at Carbone. So we pulled up to Carbone, checked out the car, got some photos taken, and then they fed us, y'all. You guys know, Carbone has the best spicy rigatoni in Miami. Delicious. And meatballs. It was great. It was good to see everyone. Farrah, um, Pink was there. Um, a few different content creators were there. Even Lenny. Lenny who like takes all the photographs of Jay-Z and all of them, he was there as well. So it was popping. I even saw my good friend Austin Mills, the DJ who I've known for years. Um, so yeah, it was a cool evening. I just finished up my stories for Lacoste. It's like 11 o'clock. Hopefully they get approved tonight so I can post. If not, they'll just have to get posted in the morning. But I am about to shower take off this makeup and head to bed because in the morning we have a performance lab which basically means we are going to do a tennis class and I have never ever played tennis I think I told you guys this guys this before I've been on a tennis court but I've literally never had a racket and hit a ball ever so we're gonna see how it goes I'm gonna look cute doing it because I have this really cute outfit here that you guys have already seen all of the pieces for um but yeah, should be fun. 
but like i love being on the ocean at night like it's so serene out here it's so beautiful can you guys see the ocean it's just there it's so beautiful oh i love it gosh I mean, I don't think I could ever like live on the beach because just in case like an accident or like a tsunami or something comes, I don't want to be the first defense. Like I need to be inward a little bit, but it's so quaint and peaceful and beautiful. Just like hearing the waves. I wonder if I could sleep with the window open. I probably can, but then I'll wake up with a million bugs on me. All right, you guys, we're gonna call it a night, but so far I'm really enjoying this trip. And I really like the Cadillac Hotel, it's super cute. And the service is amazing, and the manager is fine, okay? <laughs> fine, and he is making sure that I'm well taken care of, and I love that for me. And I love that for you, because when I'm happy, y'all are happy, okay? Anywho, I'm gonna check in with y'all tomorrow. Have a good one. for the Miami Open. It's about 7.30 a.m. I woke up pretty early to see the sunrise. It was so beautiful. Ugh, I think I might try to actually go down to the beach tomorrow for the sunrise. I always try to do that when I stay at one of these oceanfront hotels because the views are just gorgeous. So I'm about to get myself ready for the day. I'm a little late. Uh, I might have like 10 minutes to grab breakfast before needing to meet the team so that we could drive over to the performance lab, which just means we're getting a tennis lesson this morning. So I have a tennis um, like outfit and then I packed up another outfit in this bag um, to change into because right after that, we're going to head to the Miami Open to the stadium um, to the Lacoste box. So they have a suite. They always have a suite at the Miami Open so that should be fun I'm just gonna start my makeup routine I just cleansed my face um, and I put on a little bit of the Caudalie grape water which soothes moisturizes it's an antioxidant it's for sensitive skin I drown my skin in this stuff every day and I definitely think there's some healing properties I know grape water is really really good for like anti-aging so your girl is giving Benjamin Button. Ever since I've been using this and the uh, spinach and kale moisturizer from Used to the People, which is vegan as well, skin been flourishing. Flourishing. Okay. Where? Where are the wrinkles? There are none. Anywho, I'm going to do a quick light beat. Um, and then I'm gonna pack my Chanel bag. The great thing about this bag is that it's clear. So any place that has a clear bag policy, I can use this and it's still chic. So if you're someone who does a lot of stadiums, a lot of concerts, um, I would suggest investing in a nice clear bag because you're, you're gonna need it at some point with clear bag policies at stadiums, for games, football games, concerts, basketball games, all those things. So yeah, I got a lot of love on my sandbag yesterday. Everyone's like, oh, this is a perfect bag for this event <laughs> because it's a clear bag policy. I know Telfar has one cute kind of clear bag that you can see through. Um, if I can find any other like cute clear bags in addition to the Chanel one, I'll link them down below. All right, so. Let's get it together so we can at least grab a coffee before we have to play tennis. All right guys, got myself together. I feel cute. This is my performance outfit with these little shorts and this dress and then my little blue sneakers. 
I also have Lacoste socks. And then I have this little hat. I think I'm gonna put this little hat on, but like, why would they put the tag on the hat like this? Knowing you can't like get it off. This is quite annoying. And all I have is this little <laughs> wine opener that I've been like getting all of the tags and things off with. But I don't want to ruin this. But I don't. I don't think I'll be able to get this tag off. Oh, it's coming off. Oh, sweet. Ah, yes. So I have makeup on, so makeup is definitely about to be all over this. But it's the price you pay for a good pick. I also don't want to mess up my hair, but <gasps> it's a vibe. Let me tighten it. So you guys know I really love the Kiehl's Cream Decor Lotion, but it doesn't have a smell. And so normally I'll put on like my perfumes and things on top of it. Let me raise you guys up a little bit because I'm feeling like I need to squat. There we go. And so I've been using this and I showed you guys this in a previous video when I was in New York. This is the Youth to the People and y'all already know I love Youth to the People because Everything is vegan and clean and just good for you. This is their Hydrate and Glow Dream Body Butter. When I tell you, skin is shiny and it smells amazing. Um, so it visibly firms, brightens, and replenishes moisture. It has niacinamide, which is great for anti-aging, super berry extracts, um, kapuku butter, uh, and then green tea and blonde woods as the scent it's so good like get it now i i absolutely love it again it's vegan and it smells so good even if you mix it with your fragrances like i put some of this on yesterday before i went down to have like a pre-game with the team and as soon as i walked by somebody was like oh my god you smell so good like what is that and it was this mixed with a little of the mfk aqua media fragrance she the one and she's gonna have me shining and smelling good all day. All right, I have to head downstairs because it's time to go to the performance lab. Of course, I'm gonna take you guys with me. But yeah, just wanted to show you the fit for the day. Let's go play some tennis. horrible <laughs> I can hit the ball though yeah. that's enough all right guys so we came to the locker room and changed because we're gonna head to the stadium for the Lacoste suite and watch a match so I changed into this navy cardigan it's super cozy I wore the white one or the cream one last night and then the same little skirt and then of course I have on my same sneakers all right, let's go. All right, guys, we made it to the stadium. We're gonna go inside, check it out. 
Loving these sunglasses, by the way. They actually really do protect you from the sun. So I'll be sure to link these down below. made it back to the hotel from the Miami Open. It was really cool. Lacoste, of course, always has a suite there, and it was great. <laughs> they have amazing food. We watched about three matches, one for women's singles, and I think two for men's singles, and it was pretty cool. Uh, got some content, had a ball, and now we are back at the hotel. We have a few hours to relax before um, we're gonna have dinner tonight at Water. And Water is the rooftop restaurant at the One Hotel. I've taken you guys there a lot. <laughs> um, it's one of my favorite restaurants. They have this delicious lobster sushi roll that I will be getting tonight. Um, but your girl is tired. I have to do some stories for Lacoste, so I need to quickly do some voiceovers. And then um, I'm gonna get dressed and head to dinner. But I also have to get a YouTube video up, and it's about like six o'clock. So hopefully I can get that up within the next hour and a half for you all. Uh, but so far I'm having a wonderful time. I think this dinner is the, the last thing we're going to do. And then I think tomorrow we have breakfast and then we disperse. So I'm very, very happy about this opportunity. It was really cool. The people at Lacoste and also um, Marchand eyewear are just incredible and all of the other influencers are so fun I don't know if you guys can hear this but the toilet is running and that's gonna bother me like I need it to stop <laughs> all right I'll check back in with you guys when I'm dressed and ready for dinner tonight I'm out of outfit so I'm probably just gonna wear the same thing I wore last night the two-piece set from Revolve that I wore to the Cadillac dinner um, at Carbone and call it a day all right guys i got my work done i got my stories up i took a quick shower refreshed my makeup put on my two-piece set from revolve i'll link it down below and just threw my lacoste sweater over my shoulders so that your girl is still on brand um, and we're going to head to water um at uh the one hotel for dinner so it should be really nice i think we're pretty much done um unfortunately the video is not gonna go live today like it just took forever to download onto my external hard drive then it took forever to upload so i just thought it was better for me to just release it tomorrow morning once i get home and like really have the time to sit down and make a good thumbnail and all of those things so sorry if that video was late like sometimes it's just out of my hands y'all but yeah i'll show you the full look in the mirror although you probably won't be able to see it that well and then we'll head out all right guys so quite literally the same outfit i wore last night just with the lacoste shoulder th um cardigan thrown over my shoulders i have these little huggy earrings from local european and my same bottega mules and that's the look um let's head out because i was supposed to be downstairs five minutes ago
from my brand trip with Lacoste. Um, last night we had a beautiful, delicious dinner at Water on the top of uh, one hotel, South Beach. I never had the steak there and it's so freaking good. I'm definitely gonna be going back there. Like I used to go all of the time to get their uh, lobster roll that's actually like a, like a Japanese roll, but with lobster, so good. Anywho, it was great. It was wonderful being with the team, um, but I just felt like coming home. <laughs> I had one more night there, and then uh, we were just gonna check out this morning and leave. There were no more activities, so I just decided to pack up and come home because I have so much to do today. I spent the morning organizing my closet, like I'm doing a clear out. I just did a clear out of my beauty closet and I sent about four boxes, no, like six boxes to friends and family, like my brother, my sister, my close friends, my mom, my aunt, <laughs> like anybody I could send products to, I created special boxes for, you know, their skin type, um, their age and whatnot, and you know, their fragrance preferences. And I literally cleaned out my entire beauty closet because there's just no way that I could wear all of those, like, things i'm like only one face and i do appreciate brands sending me stuff but there's just no way that i could use all of that stuff before it probably went bad so i just sent a bunch of stuff to friends and then i just cleaned out my shoe closet i have about 13 pair of shoes i'm getting rid of clothes um so it's time for me to donate for the first quarter of the year so that's what i've been doing all morning I'm trying to get the YouTube video up this morning that was supposed to go up yesterday. I'm about to make it live, but I need to do a better thumbnail because the thumbnail I have, I just feel like it's not like as attention grabbing and that's what I need. So we're going to get this video up. I'm going through my email. I think I just got a, another brand campaign, which is so good. Like. I'm so grateful and thankful to still be working in this industry after so many years that people like still want to collaborate with me and such. Ooh, this is going to be fun. Ooh, when is this? Oh, I'm going to be in town. Cool. Um, so yeah, I'm just catching up on all of the work that I wasn't able to do when I was with Lacoste, but I had such a great time with them and the team and just like all the people they invited. So that was fun. Today... We're going grocery shopping because your girl got nothing in here. Nothing, no snacks, no nothing, nothing. Coffee. And I can't drink coffee on an empty stomach, so I have to go get some breakfast stuff. Um, and then I think we're gonna go do some window shopping. I have a an Uber credit that I need to use that expires tomorrow, and it's like $300 on there. So your girl is about to be all over Miami today <laughs> so I can get the use out of my Uber code. So we're gonna do a little Trader Joe's haul. We're gonna go to Curio uh, by Fayina Bazaar um, because for my birthday, I'm going someplace really cool. And I'm just looking for like those fire pieces. Your girl is turning 40. And I I, I got a stunt, <laughs> okay? It's, it's stunt season. Um, you know, tourist season soon come and I will be stunting all tourist season. Um, yeah. So that's what we're doing today. Should be fun. I'm gonna get everything live and I'll check back in with you guys when I'm like dressed and ready to head to Trader Joe's and take you guys with me grocery shopping. We'll do a little haul. Um, I think today is gonna be a no makeup day because I can't be bothered. By the way, if you're interested in this mug, it's from the brand Drippy Cups and you can find them at Essence and a few other places. So I'll link them below. So Support a small owned business today. Hmm. All right, guys, finally finished up my work. 
well most of it um showered put on a everyday look wearing these biker shorts from boohoo um the top is my favorite t-shirt from acne it's like a brushed cotton super comfy the sunglasses are in other stories and then i have on my new nike comfort insole sneakers these are so fire i am a nike ambassador for the next few months so I'll link these down below. And what I love about all of their sneakers is they're very comfortable and fashionable. And also you can wear them for bike rides, for hot girl walks, for working out, running, sports. So I have quite a few new ones in them, but it was that orange Nike check that did it for me. And I love that little extra piece here on the back that just kind of pops out. So that is the look for today. No makeup, we are chill today. And we're gonna head to uh, Trader Joe's and maybe do a little something, something, I don't know. But I will link everything down below if you're interested. Sorry that the light is going in and out. Of course, it's time for your girl to get a new camera, but yeah. And I have my suitcases here from CalPack because your girl is heading to New York in a few days. So New York vlog coming soon. Hey y'all, I am back from Trader Joe's. And then I went to this other grocery store as well. Um, but I showed you guys some of the things so some of it is similar to what I always get from Trader Joe's. I got some butter croissants. Three come in a pack so that I can like make breakfast three days. Um, I got some arugula. It's my favorite green. Sometimes I'll put it in like a bacon, egg, and arugula breakfast sandwich. Something new that I got are these uh, beef short ribs. They're like korean style and yeah i was looking at the sugar and the sodium and it's pretty low um and calories are only 320 per serving so that's like amazing so i want to try these out so i can get my protein in you guys know i do a lot of bike rides so i have to offset all the cardio i do with more protein and strength training so i'm not like just skinny and flabby like i need to be you know toned so your girl needs more meat in her diet. I'm also trying these cinnamon graham crackers for the first time from Trader Joe's because I do love graham crackers and I love cinnamon. Um, and they don't have a lot of sugar in them. So pretty good. I think eight grams of sugar, 150 calories. I'm not really a diet type of girl, but I do kind of watch my calories in this how much mainly salt and sugar I'm putting in my body. I try to make sure the salt content is low and uh, the sugar content is low. I also got these Trader Joe's mini thing snacks mix because y'all, they don't sell my little spicy mix no more. Somebody told me it was only seasonal. Like why would they get me all excited like that just to take the product away? Like how long I gotta wait to come back out? Who knows? But I got these mini things Trader Joe's mix I got my favorite like warm-up meal which is the garlicky pasta it's so good y'all like it's so good 210 calories per serving barely one gram of sugar the sodium is kind of high but it's delicious i got two of these i got some organic bananas i usually eat one every morning after my workout before my bike ride so these will all be gone in the next couple of days I got some bacon because I can't get bacon up. <laughs> I love bacon. But the only kind of bacon I like is this one from Trader Joe's. This is the uncured dry rubbed sliced bacon. It's delicious. And it does have a low amount of sodium. So, yeah. I feel like this is the only bacon that cooks evenly too. So, I got that. I also got these little chocolate coconut almonds. From Trader Joe's. This is one of my favorite little snacks. Um, the sugar, 13 grams, not too bad. Um, but I only eat a handful of these, like usually before I go to bed, because I want something sweet. And yeah, I ended up going to another grocery store because Trader Joe's didn't have any tulips 
and you guys know i love tulips so i got four bushels of tulips there are 10 tulips in each each so these are like 40 tulips i'm gonna mix them up and put them in about three different vases around my house and they were seven dollars a bush which isn't bad like i feel like trader joe's is a little bit more cheaper but they didn't have any white ones i also got my favorite crackers these are rain coast crisp by leslie stowe they're cranberry and hazelnut crackers y'all if you love cheese and crackers you gotta get these crackers and then you need to get some um aged manchego cheese 12 months if you're lactose intolerant six will also work um and put it on here so good anytime i do a charcuterie board i get these and cheese and people go crazy so of course i had to get the manchego cheese to go with the crackers i also will break this up and put it in like my bacon egg and cheese sandwiches or put it in my eggs in the morning as well but again if you're lactose intolerant any cheese that's aged six months or more the lactose is gone so you can eat it pretty plentifully without you like getting sick or anything also got some spicy mix from the grocery store they have like these containers where you can create your own mix so hopefully this one tastes similar to the trader joe's ones let me see it does but it's soft like i wish it was crunchy i feel like it's not fresh mm. i also got some blood orange juice the sugar content in this is insane it's 28 grams i might as well just drink a soda <laughs> but what i'm gonna do is anytime i drink this i'm gonna have it with water that's how i get around the sugar content per serving um i got some broccoli because i love to roast broccoli i'll put some in the um air fryer with a little bit of garlic oil salt pepper and uh red pepper flakes so good I got some sweet potatoes i'll usually roast some of these like every other night i love sweet potatoes they're good for your eyes um i have lemon herb aioli sauce i don't really know what i'm gonna do with this but i think i'm gonna put it on my bacon egg and cheese sandwiches i feel like it's gonna be delicious also when i roast my broccoli i feel like i can dip my broccoli in this and it would be so good um and lastly i got some madhava clean and simple organic light agave syrup this is what i use instead of sugar in my coffee sometimes a little bit in my oatmeal in the morning so anytime i need sugar i just squeeze some of this into it um instead of actually using sugar because it's better for you and that is my grocery haul uh now i need to unpack all this and put it up i don't think i'm going shopping i was gonna go but here's the thing i've been blowing bags left and right i have been shopping like a maniac like i have like <laughs> two or three packages on the way and then a lot of brands are sending me stuff so i'm gonna chill right now i feel like i was trying to curate the perfect birthday wardrobe but i feel like i already got it and i don't need to buy that note so if i go out i just feel like i'm just buy buy stuff i'm trying to get rid of half of this stuff because i have no space and I'm trying to buy another house, so there's that. All right, guys, I will check back in with you probably later on in the week. I have an event that's really cool that I'm going to take you guys with me to. And then we'll end out this vlog. But I wish y'all could come through the screen and help your girl put these groceries up. Like, I wish you could. I feel like y'all would. If I asked, I feel like some of y'all would come and help me put these groceries up. And that's why I love y'all, because y'all look out for me, you know? Y'all look out for me and I appreciate it. Season.
so it's been a pretty long morning i think it's about one o'clock now um i started the day pretty much with a workout i didn't show that though um i've been getting lots of questions about my workout routine and i work out maybe three to four times a week on zoom with my good friend gloria she is life with glory b here on youtube as well as instagram um and so we did a 30 minute class today because today is monday on different days we have different times um we have sundays and wednesdays off currently but during the weekdays the classes are 30 minutes they're high intensity you do weightlifting and um cardio and then on the weekends we have one class on saturday that's an hour long so yeah i did a workout this morning and then i've just been washing clothes well actually washing my bedding today um cleaning i had a meeting with my assistant this morning i had another meeting um something exciting is happening i'm not going to speak about it yet but something amazing is coming and if you follow me on instagram and you've been seeing my stories then you probably have a little heads up on what's to come um, i'm fresh faced i'm not putting on no makeup today like i was about to like put on a face for y'all and i was just like i can't do it i cannot do it a lot of you have noted that my skin is looking a lot better than it normally does um and that's because i switched most of my skincare products over to clean natural and vegan products i i use a lot of youth to the people um i only use like three cleansers i only use clean like vegan makeup um as foundation so i think that's helped a lot um if you're interested to know exactly which skincare products i'm using there is a highlight on my instagram that just says skincare i literally go through i think all 12 products that i've been using for like the past six months no new ones just those that have kind of helped with my skin but a lot of it is just i stopped using chemical things to be honest i just switched most of my skincare products over to clean and vegan products and youth to the people has a lot of skincare that's vegan and clean that i use on my face and my body and beauty counter has lots of makeups that are vegan for foundation so my foundation is clean my um my what is it my contour is vegan um like literally the stuff that i put on every day that's like mainly in my skin all of that's clean so i think that's made a difference in my skin a lot of people are like oh have you done something girl <laughs> one thing about me is i'm never having surgery um here's the thing i can handle pain pretty well but i don't do things that will potentially shorten my life i'm just a tourist that way i don't jump out of planes i don't um i don't do any kind of things like that that might prematurely bring my life to an end um i enjoy life and so i haven't the only surgery i've ever done is i got a colonoscopy a few years ago um where i actually had to be sedated and put under that was the only time even like when i had my tooth pulled i did a wide awake because i don't want nobody to put me under for nothing so i haven't had any work done guys and the thing is i'm probably never gonna have work done i'm not from the generation of like getting work done i'm just gonna be natural like this <laughs> for the rest of my life because i'm just too scared to have anything done no botox nothing okay this is just skin so yeah i would recommend just switching over i'll link all of my favorite skincare products down below that i'm using um i use one retinol uh from ula Henriksen. um i use two different moisturizers one from used to the people one from ula Henriksen. um i use caudalie face spray literally i barely use anything on my face anymore i used to have like all these medications and pads and wipes and mm, i literally just stopped using all of that and started from scratch with man-made things i mean with natural products so yeah that's the tea on on that um i had so like many things i was gonna do with y'all today but the truth is i'm flying to new york tomorrow morning at 7 a.m thank goodness they bumped your girl up to first class like i love delta delta is the one and not the two 
um but i have a few products i want to show you i was going to do like a whole unboxing of things but the thing is i'm just really not in the mood to try any of this stuff on and i know you guys have to see it on me in order to be you know propelled to even check it out so i'm just gonna show y'all some products first up <laughs> I got a little something in from Granado, Rio de, de Janeiro. And at first I thought this was liquor. Like it was giving a liquor vibe, but turns out it's like a candle brand, which is cool. So here's the box. It says Granado, Rio de Janeiro, and a PR brand sent this to me. So they sent me this giant candle and I already have it burning downstairs. It smells amazing. Granado Rio de Janeiro is the essence of flowers. They have five classic fragrances um, celebrating the beauty and heritage of botanicals. And they sent me most of them. Oh my God, I wish you guys could just smell the box. It smells amazing. It smells very floral, but not like sickly floral. I, actually, I don't really like floral candles and smells because it makes me sick, like it gives me a headache. But this smells so like fresh and floral. So I have a little handwritten note here from the team. Hi Monroe, hope you enjoy Granado's latest collection, the um, Essence of Flowers. Very cool. And I think they're based in New York because the card is from Madison Avenue. So here was the candle. I'll show it to you, it's burning downstairs. Um, this candle is called La Rio. It's the, the Vea candle. And I wish it had like the scent notes, but I've been burning it for the last two days since I got it. Oh my God, it smells so good. It's, this smells amazing. Um, so they sent the candle, which I will show you. And then they sent this cool little egg. <laughs> and I was like, what's in here? So this is how their fragrances come. And like, how cool is this? And this little egg. So this is the Nova formula. I don't know if you can see that it says Nova formula there. But you kind of, ooh, not me about to break a nail. Speaking of which, I broke my toe, you guys, yesterday. Yeah. I broke my toe yesterday. I stubbed my toe on the bench in my hallway. I was changing the temperature. I don't know how, because that bench has been there forever. So why my body wasn't acclimated to where the, the, <laughs> the piece of wood was, it's just baffling to me. But I turned and like, I smashed my, my pinky toe on the right foot. And I was like, ooh, that hurt. But like, I was like, oh, it's gonna feel better later. Girl, if I touch that toe, it's excruciating. So I already know that it's broken. It's very, very swollen. And then I went and worked out on it. Like, why would I do that? It's very, very swollen and I can barely put on a heel. So I'm, mm, it's either a bone bruise or it's broken and I'm pretty sure it's broken. So I'm like, do I feel like going to the hospital and just being in a hospital all day today for them to, to do an x-ray and tell me it's broken? Tell me, oh, you know, ice it every three to four hours, elevate your foot, and just be immobile for the next six weeks and it'll heal. Did I wanna pay for that? No, I'm a doctor. I know it's broke. So yeah, I might not be wearing heels for a while, y'all. Maybe that's just God's way of telling me I need to slow down. Anywho, open the egg, how cool. On one side of the egg, we have a soap. Can you see it? How cool. The other side we have a fragrance. And this is again the Lario. It smells so good. I wish, I mean, I really want brands to start putting the notes on things. Like, how are we supposed to know? So, this is a perfume, the fragrance. It's a little one, which I like because I can travel with. I already sprayed this yesterday, but I'll do it again. It's it almost smells like a mixed drink, like a mojito. Like it's kind of manly, but fresh, but floral. And slightly peppery. I really like this scent. I feel like it would mix well with a lot of things. It smells like spring. Ooh, I love that. This is really sexy. I like that a lot. Um, and then they have a little soap 
that I already showed you. Ooh, that smells good. Okay, in addition to that, they also sent this, which I think are their other fragrances. This is the Sabonette. There's Rosa Damascena, Violetta, Lario, which I just sprayed, Magnolia, and Gardenia. So I'm pretty sure this is like a little tester of their soaps. Oh, I thought it was the perfumes, but it's their soaps. I can see the little soaps inside, which is cool. And they all come in like little mini eggs. So that's first up. Ooh. It smells so good. And I, I love the packaging. It's very much giving like fun and tropical. All right, guys. In addition to that, I also got the Holy Grail. Ugh. I got the entire, oh, is this upside down? <laughs> sacred and the Sacred team sent me over the full range of products. Like look at this packaging. So, Oh my goodness. I'm going to have to use this because I need to wash my hair anyway. I'm going to do a review in another vlog. Um, but like, wow, the packaging is stunning. They sent me, I think the whole, the whole kit, the whole line. I have the Ritual Shaking Vessel, Clarifying Shampoo, Hydrating Shampoo, Moisture Sealing Lotion, Moisturizing Deep Condition, Reconstructive Mask, um, the Nourishing Hair Oil, and the fermented rice and rose protein ritual like the whole gamut so i think in the next vlog when i'm back in miami we're gonna get into this and i'm gonna wash my hair with this before i get my hair braided up and we will see how it goes but all of the reviews i've seen so far especially here on youtube everyone is loving it so yeah very excited to have this and shout out to the team for sending it all right guys i think that's it for this video um i'm looking crazy and i truly apologize but yeah i'll be sure to link those things down below i need to finish washing clothes i need to pack because my flight to new york leaves very early in the morning i'm gonna go get a manicure and a pedicure i don't know how they're gonna do a pedicure i don't know if i told you guys i broke my toe yesterday but you already need a pedicure, so I don't know how she's going to handle this toe, but it needs to be with care. Yeah. Um, thanks so much for watching the vlog. I had an incredible time with Lacoste and who is this? I had an, an incredible time with Lacoste. I've linked all of those sunglasses down below. Um, it's just been a wonderful couple of days, so I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to thumbs up. You can do it from your TV, hit the up and over button. Um, you can do it from your phone. Please do it if you're watching from your computer. It helps me out so much. And if you're new here, subscribe. I think you'll love it. All right, you guys, the next vlog is of course gonna be a New York vlog and I will see you there.